It is a gloomy, gloomy, sad, rainy day out there. But we're still gonna get up to some adventures today. Today's actually gonna be a road trip day. We're taking off, we're going to Jasper. We're gonna meet some friends out there. Uh, a little while ago, I went to Toronto and one of the things that I was supposed to do out there was meet up with Lizzie and Chris, who you may know from their YouTube channels, but they ended up getting a job elsewhere and had to take off, so I didn't get to meet up with them. Now, they happen to be in Alberta doing some work for Travel Alberta, and I thought, you know what, this is the chance. This is, this is when it's gonna happen. So today, I'm driving out to Jasper, which is like a four and a half hour drive, to meet them so that we can go take some photos, take some videos, do friendship things. It's gonna be awesome. But first, we gotta drive there. Just got a call from Chris and Lizzie. They woke up this morning and there was snow everywhere. And keep in mind right now, it is June 7th, I think. So it's pretty unheard of for Banff to get snow and as much snow as they got last night, this time of year. They kind of had to stay and get some shots and stuff this morning. So they were running late. We we're both running late. So I'm probably actually gonna get there before they do. The drive so far has been super beautiful. I've been trying to capture it with this little rig that I made up for my dash. So that's the rig there. Originally, I also had this ball head on it too but it made the whole system too tall and it was hitting the glass. So I had to go down to this. It's slightly crooked, so I'm gonna have to reframe it in post. But you know, you just, you do what you gotta do to get the shot. Let's get back on the road. quick break to grab some photos. I found this spot with like a long stretch of road with a big mountain right at the end of it. And I've just been kind of like waiting because every like one or two minutes, this happens. There are cars coming both ways and then there'll be like what seems like just the perfect dead air spot where there's no cars and anything. And I'll go and I'll get my camera really quickly set up. Got it on a timer so that I can step in front of it. And then of course, as soon as I'm about to take the shot, a car comes and I'm on a highway here. Like these cars are going hundred kilometers an hour. I'm, I'm gonna get out of the way, but I'm gonna try a couple more times here and see if I can get this shot and uh, then get back at it. Okay, four and a half hours later, I am at Sunwapta Falls. Our plans have changed. Originally, we were gonna meet at Moline Canyon or Moline Lake, and then that wasn't gonna work, so then we went to meeting in Jasper, and then I got a text from Chris that said, hey, we're actually gonna go to Sunwapta Falls, and we'll meet you there at 4.30. So it's about 2.30, and I'm here. First time using my new hiking boots. All right. At this point, I can't tell if it's raining out here or if the falls are just spitting up so much water that it feels like it's raining. There's not even too many people out here. It's nice. I don't know if that's like a faux pas or not, but I was here early, so I went and scoped it out ahead of time. It's pretty crazy. I don't even think I've seen like even a small amount of it yet, but it's 4.30 now, so I gotta go back up to the parking lot, see if they're here yet.
nothing yet, but they're creative. So they're anything like me, they're gonna be late. Time is it? 5.02, just a half an hour. Half an hour's not bad. So I reorganized my backpack. I switch lenses on my B cam so it'll be quicker to get to the one I want. I balance my gimbal, put some batteries charging in my van, use the washroom. It's starting to run out of things to do to kill the time. I'm just so excited for all of this that it's making it seem like it's taking longer than it actually is. Time for a couple of cool little hacks. Hack number one. If you're carrying a gimbal and you don't have like a case for it or whatever and you don't want it to flop around, you can use these Velcro cable ties to keep it from flopping too much. It's not perfect, but it helps. Hack number two. If you're tall like me, these little travel tripods are not quite tall enough, even at their highest height, to be like eye level with me. So what I did is I took this little mini tripod and on the bottom of it, I attached a quick release plate. So now I've got my little vlogging mini tripod and I don't even have to take the camera off. I can just attach it to the bigger tripod and it works perfectly for filming myself at eye level so that you're not just seeing the sky behind my head. All right, that should have done it. That killed, it only killed like five minutes. <laughs> like how late? Bad, like, like give me a, an understanding well, of how late we are. We were first supposed to meet at 9.30 and then yesterday we changed it to two, two. And then we changed it to 4.30 and now we're 45 minutes late. So hopefully this makes up for <laughs> all the things. Got you a lollipop. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Lollipop. Aww. Here you go. <laughs> I got a lollipop for all my patients. <laughs> it's official. We're all here. Everybody made it. Hanging out with Matt in the back here. Lizzie and Chris are scoping things out. Hello. It's really loud. <laughs> this waterfall is insane. We got so many tripods setting up getting bangers. Squad. We're just double checking the audio levels because we decided we would vlog beside a waterfall. One of the things that I think is really cool, and we're in Alberta, Dennis from Alberta, we're here visiting. My favorite part about Alberta, a location like this is literally beside a parking lot. I think it's the parking lot banger photo location capital of the entire world. You can literally just like walk like 10 feet, shoot bangers, and then like go and eat like a cannoli or something like that. It's super easy. So yeah, loving it here, loving hanging out with Donna and Alberta. Nobody at the spot, we go down to it, and like five minutes later, there's like 40 people. They're like, I see big cameras, I'm going to that spot. Those people look like they got it figured out. Now we're trying to make our way through the woods here. I'm still recovering a little bit from my one wheel accident. My ankle doesn't like all this. So Matt's out here jumping on rocks, trying to get the best shot for Lizzie. And the whole time Chris is like, Matt, don't do it. And then I uh, just hear Lizzie in the background yelling at him, being like, can you get to the next one? Lizzie, did you at least get the shot? I got the shot. We'll cut to it right now. Imagine she didn't give you the file and she just like snapped to it and then it just didn't actually cut to it at all. It seems like something Lizzie would do. So Lizzie and I just finished recording a collab video. Now we're heading to some more waterfalls. Just so much here in Alberta. Just saw the second black bear of the trip. Matt was up on the roof of his van and I just kind of ran out of the car. It was a safe distance, I guess. Lizzie, on a scale of one to 10, how bonkers is this right now? 11.
So I think we're at the third waterfall of the day. Maybe this is the second one. I don't know if this is still the same one. Waterfalls look similar. You know that old song, don't go chasing waterfalls? Well, screw that. <laughs> are, you, are you vlogging or am I vlogging? Who's I vlogging? feel like this is when someone opens the door on you when you're in the bathroom and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> Is there more light this way? If I, go, if I hold this out here, do we oh, feel Jesus. good? Hey. <laughs> I'm holding the, the entire tripod with the camera basically out over the river. So it's looking like we're coming to a close. We're, we're running out of light basically. And uh, everybody's getting hungry. So there's just one thing left to do today. Wings. <laughs> Dude, it was so funny. So, I don't know about you, but I got that wake-up call, and then, like, the phone call started ringing at, like, 5.15, and I was, like, right out of my sleep, and I'm like, this is your morning wake-up call. I just straight up, this is exactly what it sounded like. I was like, okay! And she just starts bursting it laughing. like you've been walking in the Sahara Desert for, like, three weeks, and it's the first time you'd ever tried to talk. Yeah. So, of course, any photography trip isn't quite complete without waking up way too early and trying to catch a sunrise. So we're out here at Pyramid Lake and there's like this mist over the water. Have much luck with sunrise. Sun just didn't didn't want to pop itself out, but we got some cool shots anyway. <laughs> literally in the middle of driving away thinking you know what we didn't get it the Sun didn't come out the way we wanted it to and as we're driving we see this 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 little guys just know get what are you doing? I don't want to break anything. What are you doing up there? You watch though. Mm-hmm. That was definitely a mission accomplished on this whole trip. Made some new friends, or some internet friends are now real life friends. Took some awesome photos, got some video in, just absolutely Incredible. Last stop, of course, is to get some coffee and then the uh, four and a half hour trek home. Just a, another super successful trip. It just goes to show like going out of your way to make things happen and, uh, and meet people and do things, is, uh, it's worth it. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys next time.